Tell me about Davy Day, Dennis. Obviously, when you had him, you, he, he were knocking everybody out. One, well, he biggest puncher that you've had when you were with when Carl, you. Were... Carl Thompson was the biggest puncher. Carl me. Thompson, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Davy Day were exciting when he got golden boy looks, uh, charismatic. Mm, uh, you, obviously, you saw the best of him, didn't you? Pardon? You saw the best of Davy Day, I think. You know them up to. Were he one of them Twitch fighters? Because he, he looked to me yes. like he were, Dennis, yeah? Yes, yeah, that's what you call a Twitch fighter, yeah, but mm. likes a bit of stamina. Uh, but obviously, he learned that as he went on and not to blow himself out and pick his moments, and that's what you get with experience. You can't just get that in a book and mm. manage it. Yeah. Uh, so, so he learned that as we were going along, but the timing was wrong when he fought Carl Thompson, and I expressed that. I'd got Carl at the time anyway, so I was promoting him both. So fight it year, uh, wasn't it that? I put it on a Wembley arena that year. Yeah, fight it year, wasn't it? It were I remember watching watching that right, but Carl Thompson, he took some ammo, didn't he, Dennis, for them first four round four and a half rounds, didn't he? Yeah he did, but, but look at when Moose versus Crawford Ashley first two rounds. Got hammered. Oh Clinton. Got hammered. Yeah, again, yeah, he came through it, broke his heart and similar Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he was a tough man, Carl Thompson. Do you feel that Carl Thompson were robbed by a referee against Johnny Nelson, then? I think so, and I like Johnny, um, but I think he could have gone on a lot uh, further. I'm not saying that, that, that Carl had beat Johnny, but uh, he was still in there. He was still capable of coming back in that fight. So, uh, it, 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 it were an early stoppage, and because Carl balance at times and that's what I said to Richie Davies before he fought Sebastian Rothman he was a bit square on and he, and he, and he looked as though he's going to, but he plays a bit possum as well does Carl mm. he mimics as though he's going a bit uh, to, 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 to set a trap yeah so uh, 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 one of my favourite of, of all time British fighters is Carl and I was blessed to be uh, involved with him I got slated when, I, when, he, when he wanted to come back and when I would promote him, oh, he shouldn't box it anymore, but look what we achieved together. And yeah. so pleased I had a little bit of a input in it, into his career, and, uh, you know, he finished it on such a high note, so... Yeah. He won a... He won world, world multi uh, kickboxing champion as well, wasn't he, Carl? So he was a tough yeah, man, wasn't he? That's what I'm saying, so... What a, what a tough man, but what a, what a gentleman. Uh, and he got mm. strong principles, uh, you know underrated because he didn't shout from the rooftops you know he didn't say I'm the greatest I'm this I'm the other he went as yeah. a showman he was just a basic decent man yeah uh, so got nothing but admiration for old Carl uh, you know I get warm yeah what a, what a, what a gentleman and what a tough man but all my respect is Carl yeah uh, moving on then uh, Clinton Woods against Roy Jones Dennis that were a massive, massive fight at the time, wasn't it? Roy Jones were like the Mayweather of today, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, were that your proudest moment in boxing up to then? Um, I think just making the fight uh, happen uh, were, were, were a, a bit of a... No, I don't know, I think a better 
a bit like a, a master stroke in a way because uh, apparently Clinton and his book have, have not read it because I can't be bothered because uh, I don't think I think one or two on troops in that book well I know there is uh, I made it when our flu was over I paid for tickets for us to go over I've been working on trying to get Clinton a shot at world title uh, when, when things weren't happening I paid for us both to go over to, to Miami uh, and uh, we get, I get a crack to press conference with Rick, with, 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 with Clinton, and we, um, you know, it, it was just the cuff that, but that's how I made that fight happen. And then um, we went into the day off, they had as an offer, and by the time I'd got an agreement with, like, with, with certain people like Lance Lewis, the ex promoter, I'd, I'd, I'd want to deal with him, but he was going to get a. Panos. A, of the purse and, and we've got agents to pay and then you've got tag to pay both tags and foreign entertainment tag. By the time it had done Clinton it might with peanuts fine. Uh, if it had been now we'd have probably got five billion dollars offered or something crazy like that, but he got, you know, fractions of that offered. So we so I ended up winning the bird bit so I could get Clinton more money. That's what I did. And he got more than he would have got a lot more than what he would have got. And this is what people don't understand. I won the first bid for that. And, and me and uh, partners at the time, we, we paid him, well, it wasn't really me, uh, more than uh, what it would have got if we had just accepted uh, the purse for fire jobs. And people, people would have been happy just to take the purse. But, but well, the fire went ahead. He went, his training didn't go as well as he could have done. Uh, um, you know, we had to change things after that, but uh, it didn't go as well as it could have done. And uh, he weren't as strong in that fight. I'm not saying he'd ever, ever beat Roy John, but, you know, he'd be a bit stronger. But then he started to take chip one or two shots. And I, and I, I like, you know, I watched him take one or two heavy shots. I mean, that'll do. No more. Chuck the towel in, waved it off. And we lift the fight another day. And if you think what Jamie Shaw, when he got Jeff Lacey, when he fought Calzant, just let that man get a beating where he would never ever the same again. Um, and that would a different Clinton learn from that. And I said to him, I did feel this. I enjoyed that. That was Clinton's words. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Is that when they've just fought Roy Jones? Well, Clinton did have such a great appetite for the game, but uh, we wouldn't have enjoyed it if we'd have seen him get beat to a pulp. He was, he was more or less spent when I, the, when I took the towel and I thought, now that's it. He, uh, he, he got five rounds. He, uh, he was spent after five rounds, Clinton. I thought, now all he's going to do is take some heavy punches. And, uh, I've been having that. He's my pal. like my little brother. So I went, that'll do. Uh, these, these people who want to see him fight on and hang in there, well, I wasn't one of them. I, I thought, no, we'll keep him healthy and uh, he's got a longer career to get ahead of him. You know, and he served as well, didn't he? Yeah, he obviously went on to win his... He was obviously British Commonwealth European champion when he fought Jones, but he went on to get his world title, didn't he? And from that day on, Clinton fought at the highest level for seven years, didn't he? From 02 to 09. So, yeah. nine world title fights and yeah, six... Nine world title fights and six non-world title fights. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to have won an area title. I didn't, but I know I'd have been giving it me all for the full for an area title. Fortunately, we have somebody like me, we have Lonnie Crumpet again. I get kids fighting for meaningful titles uh, where some of the you know big name promoters, uh, bigger names than me, they, they, uh, they'll, they, won't, they won't persevere with some of these kids because they're not Olympians and they're not big names. So they go, well, unless they're ready made products. Yeah. That's what I've done, and unfortunately, I've managed to pull it off more than once. Yeah, you have. You've uh, you've done well. It's a bit like uh, I can explain the 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 lad next door just taking on the the boxing lot because you've pitted swords against Golden Boy, Don King, Gary Shaw, Frank, Eddie, Barry, Old McKenzie, all of them, aren't you? Sourlands. Yeah. 
universal so and I think it's a better story than say well we know we know who's promoters sons have done it don't they? Earns, Sourlands they've had it on a plate haven't they whereas you haven't have you no no um, so, so yeah it's been doubly hard and, it's, and being from up north as well that's made it uh, more difficult because uh, when you when you're down south you seem to like get a bit you know you, you seem to get a bit more uh, more a few more doors opening uh, television wise uh, but you know you just got all that to call we are never got I never got an, a proper output deal in all the time that Clinton were a world champion and stuff like that I never got a uh, a multiple fight TV deal for Clinton Wood, believe it or not. I had no. to mix and match with him, five by five. Yeah. And that, so he wasn't the most popular kid in the world, so uh, in the in the country. So it was a tough time. I think things would have been a bit easier now because yeah. uh, boxing is flourishing in this country, but it, it were a lot harder then. And uh, so we we still achieved in a, in, a, in a tough environment. Well, look, Clinton were a world champion for over three years. He held that belt. I mean, how many champions can we say now hold the belt that over that long? Not many, is there? We don't, but, but thankfully he's financially sound. You know, he's got some beautiful properties. He owns his property where his own gym is. He's got plenty of money in the bank. Uh, he's got a lovely family. Uh, and uh, it, it's done very well, so I take a lot of credit for that. And uh, it makes me sleep well at night. Thinking, look, I hope that kid from nothing achieve. Uh, some people think he overachieved, but you know, me and my pal Neil Paul, we, we, we believed in him from day one, um, and uh, we just kept building. And uh, you know, a lot of investment, time, and money went into him, and uh, but the memory is there forever. Yeah, it's. Uh... Do you think they'll make a film about Clinton, Dennis? Yeah. Uh, Toughest on the street, I judge. <laughs> he might do if they want somebody, or, or if Clinton could end up being like, uh, if, if, if uh, Sean Bean retires, and he goes, Thousand thousand and three minutes on all two, lovely. <laughs> he, might, he, might, he might get that job. Well, Sean does all right out of that, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, he gets fortunes, old Sean. Yeah, he gets that... fortunes, but I like Sean as my pal. He, uh, you grew up with Sean, didn't you, Sean Bean? He's older than me. Uh, his sister were in my class at school, but yeah. uh, I used to know his dad, his dad, lovely fella, O'Brien, living, you know, just over the hill from us. Uh, Sean, I've always got on really well with, and he's always been supportive. I've ever asked him to get involved in anything within reason. He, he, he'd do whatever he can. So I, I think he used to try and pull on him from us because obviously he's a busy fella, but. I've known his sister from being being young and uh, Sean for, for many, many years and uh, if any of his spoke to him, I'm sure he'd speak highly about our, uh, our friendship. So, uh, you know, I'm so pleased that he's done well because he's come from the same area as me. Yeah, you've both done well for uh, Sheffielders, haven't you? I suppose, yeah. I mean, well. oh, right. He's probably got a few more Queen Bank than me. But <laughs> it's, not, it's not all about the money, it's about, you know, your family and... and uh, it's nice making some memories in it, so yeah. that's what I'm all about. Yeah, and uh, you've got you seem to be in a good place at the moment, apart from this virus, Dennis. Uh, that's good. It'd be nice this virus if they could just have a beach and get shut on it. I know. Who would that be? But uh, we're in strange times. I, I don't know. I think there's different theories. There's one or two conspiracy theories about it. About is it man-made? But we had obviously the Spanish flu, and I think it was often. Uh, nature throws something up to correct us, and uh, I'd like to think it's that. I hope it isn't. Uh, I hope it isn't nothing sinister like something man-made, which some of these superpowers are capable of doing. By the way, uh, I saw a film on Bill Gates saying, "Forget about the nuclear strength. It's the viruses that uh, man-made viruses and germ warfare. What you can create, that's the danger." And, and he made that five or six years ago. And uh, so that's a worry to me because I think, well, what a world we're living in where you've got, you know, if, if there's a, if somebody's going to bomb you, you can, you can, you know, it's coming. But uh, with these viruses, it's the the hidden killers, and that that's what worries you. Yeah, 
Yeah, it worries me as well, mate. You don't know where it's coming from, do we? We don't know, but so all we can do is keep his family and his kids safe and, you know, because they're the ones we've got to protect. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll come through this uh, as unscathed as possible and, uh, and we move on, but we, we learn from it to be uh, a bit more appreciative of what we've got. Yeah, we will. All right then. Well, listen. I'm gonna get off. It's nice, nice to speak to you, and we'll obviously keep in touch until if we see where we're gonna be going. Uh, so. You know, these well, invoices I keep sending you for all these invoices for yeah. all these interviews. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Them. I know. Yeah, no, I know. I'll. Just send round, all right. I, I keep charging you for these interviews, but you just ignore them. Have you sent me the wrong address or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you card, you. Right, I'm gonna get off. <laughs> hey, old Dennis. I've got a new girlfriend now. <laughs> no, I don't. Did I tell you that story about when Tyson Fury rung me, Dennis, and he? I went to meet him to move a table from Paris's dad's jewellers because I used to do a bit there with him. So we've got, I've got the uh, and I've got four bottles of Calvin Klein in this golf. I've got that silver golf I had. He said and he spied them and I said, "Oh, you can take them for you, your dad, Peter, and you." Do you know what he said? <laughs> I think you know this, don't you? He goes, "No, they're not having these. Gypsy rules." <laughs> he put them in his. He was a world heavyweight champion at the time. This is outside Woolpack in Donny. Day after my birthday, so I'm hung over two in the afternoon. He jumped back in this Astra estate on an old end plate. Why? Dusty as oak with a load of whatever in back tools and that. Drove off and this mate, this bloke we're talking, he said, Who were that? And I says, That was the Neil, heavyweight champion of the world. This bloke dropped, walked off as if I were a nutter. But. It's a funny story, that, isn't it? <laughs> you couldn't imagine R. Lee doing that, could you? Lineal champion at World, about 10 months after he won it, right? And he was still in shape. And every time I think about aftershave or that last bottle I give you, I always think Tyson had four. And <laughs> Peter, you, Ian, John didn't get none. <laughs> well, I didn't because they were taking them anyway. But it's just a little funny story for archives. But we wish him all well, don't we? So, all right, then, well, listen. You, you stay safe. You stay safe. Uh, Jenny, all right. Twins and, uh, we'll speak soon. All right, you take care. Cheers, mate. See you, Ross. Bye, bye. Bye. Oh. Uh, so that's that. That's the Dennis Hobson interview. And that was that. Dennis has now left the building. I'll have to give my, my love to uh, my kids and their mum. Uh, I think that's about it really, we had a good chat there, finished off with a bit of a Tyson story, some you can't say, some you can, that's a funny one I think. I've got a bottle of actually, two seconds I'll show you it. I actually had a box of these, oh it were Car Carving Klein Obsession Night, this is one of the best ones I've had but I've had it. Uh, since 2016 summer and I've just started using it and it's still alright best before I've gone on it but uh, that's, a, that's a funny story that so there were a period where people had all that all walking around saying I've got that on <laughs> it's an old boxing story there for you so that's about it really that's Dennis's opinion on the coronavirus Clinton Woods were a good run they went on didn't they uh, Mickey Hatton, Carl Thompson, David A. Just some funny boxing stories. If people don't like it, don't watch. I'm not forcing you to. Alright. Uh, that's about it. So, come on, Rock. Are you going to go out for a walk? Hey, Right, block. You want to? Come here then. Come on. So, alright, so it's. Come here. It's good night from him and it's good night from him. Give me a kiss. Mwah. So I hope everybody's sticking to the coronavirus rules. Try and to keep your distance if you've got to go out. Obviously I've been out. Uh, try and keep your distance from people. 
and that's about it really so all right peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing shout out to aj obson innovation alloys hope you're well kevin sypsuk limited all right